Everyone, for you guys, another clean sheet. Uh, and really, especially that second half, a lot of superb defense for you guys. What are your takeaways from this game? What a crazy, crazy game, right? Tail of two halves. First half, complete possession, complete uh, domination. I think we should have been up mm -hmm. by two or three. And then second half, I think we stopped playing maybe a little bit too quick and stopped fighting a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you never can fight hard enough. So I'm so proud of the team and so proud of their uh, defensive effort and how they work together. And, you know, yes, we gave up a couple, you know, opportunities and obviously a really good team. But, um, you know, I'm so proud of the team of, of sticking with it and, and fighting all the way to the end and getting up for headers. So, you know, I'm really happy for the girls. And, uh, that's, a, that's a big win against a team that has the same amount of points as us mm -hmm. uh, and, and against a team that's uh, normally uh, you know, a top of the league team. So I'm so proud of our team. First half, great possession, great great control. Second half, just pure fight. So, so happy. Yeah. And, and in that first half too, really impressive for you guys. You get a lot of those long passes down the field we talked about in that game. The other day when we had the uh, feed from Olivia over to Chandra. That's yeah. something you guys have looked at. But in that first half, I'd say like a half dozen times you guys executed on plays like that. It set up Elena's goal. Mel had a, a chance later that was uh, a good save, but a lot of chances like that. Um, was that kind of like a, a game plan? Was that something you guys planned well, on doing? We know, in? you know, you make three, four, five small passes. The other team is going to send more numbers. And if they send more numbers, the space is somewhere else. So, and I think we did that out, you know, outstanding. I think we felt the right time to play the long ball and to get it behind them. And I think any team is worried now that with our possession, we're gonna we're gonna draw in numbers mm -hmm. and to get in behind teams. So, uh, but again, you know, uh, we're getting better and better every day. And uh, you know, so proud of so proud of them against that, uh, again against a really good team. So, you guys were really physical in the box today. You didn't let Ohio State shots, especially in that first half. They had just two shots, not until those last ten minutes. How important is your guys' physicality going up for headers, blocking balls? To this defense? You have to. You have to, especially when you defend that D, balls come into the box, we have to. We have to fight, we have to battle, we have to get stuck in, and they're doing it. You know, they're, they feel, you know, it's not something we can ask, it's something they feel necessary to win games. Mm -hmm. And then do it, you know, you see Matt's going off with a header, you know, a header is like twice the size, but she won that ball. Mm -hmm. We got the free kick and allowed us to, to win the game. So, you know, I think the, the dedication to, to our style, the dedication to the way we play, and uh, uh, it is unbelievable. Later, come over here for a second. Uh, I'm, I'm going to change this interview around. So this one, I've, I've been on uh, Elena for like a long time. She came mm -hmm. in here as a freshman, you know, uh, working hard, working hard, playing really well, building confidence, and then lately she hasn't done, you know, hasn't played, but what a great goal today. <laughs> what a great goal today, man. That's, I, I think for her, I'm so happy for her and, and the effort she's put in, and um, she consistently, you know, still, she, even if she doesn't have a great game, she still starts for us because she has had that fighting mentality. And, and I'm so happy for the team and also especially for her to get rewarded with a great goal today. Coach, that was your earliest goal you've scored all season long. How important is it that you guys get off to, to a strong start to something you've struggled with this season, but it really allowed you guys to control this game from the opening whistle to the last? I think we're 7-0 uh, we're now when scoring first. So, you know, I think that's, that says it all. You know, I think teams feel it. They come here, we go up 1-0, they're in trouble. And we've done that seven times now, and uh, so uh, again, so proud of the team. We can't say enough. I leave you guys with uh, well, One last question for you, Coach. Going forward, you guys have four games left in Big Ten play. You're right on the edge of making the Big Ten tournament or not. How much would that mean to you guys if you were able to qualify for the Big Ten tournament? We're not. We're not looking at that. We're looking at Maryland. You know, uh, yeah, it's one side of the time. We can't qualify next week. We can't qualify next game. We want to win the next game. So we're going to Maryland to win that game, and that hopefully puts us one game closer. But we're not looking at the Big Ten, we're just looking at beating, beating Maryland. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Elena. Hi. Great game. Thank you. <clears throat> you ready, Will? Um, yes. All right, Elena, goal in the 10th minute, got you guys out to a fast start, your first goal of the season. What was that moment just like for you? Well, honestly, I didn't think it was going to win, but then it did. I was shocked, and I was just really excited, because it was a big game. And I think getting up for early on really gave us confidence going into the rest of the game. You guys have dominated the defensive side of the ball most games, but in that first half, your offense as well was electric. You could have easily scored a couple more. What was the difference today compared to the last couple games where you guys have struggled offensively? Well, I think Erwin always tells us like we can be as offensive as we want. In the previous games, we've played more defensive because 
we've had to stay tight and compact in the box because there is good attacking forwards who we've played. And I think we've just had the confidence to go forward more, so we've just been doing it and taking risks. And it's been working out for us. Going back to your goal, there's some nifty forward you pull out there and get yourself through <laughs> and get the ball in the back of that really solid strike. Um, you know, what do you do to build confidence for yourself? Right? Like, does a player like that build confidence for yourself? And how, what can you take going forward for this last four games you guys have in Big Ten play? I'd say that, you know, anytime you have the ball, just have confidence to go on a player. 1v1 because you never know what could happen because on I didn't think it was going in but it did so just take risks. How, do, how does it feel to um, you guys you've had some really close games some really big wins against teams in the Big Ten that you know against Penn State they won the Big Ten last year or, or, um, was it Minnesota last year won the Big Ten conference yeah. uh, tournament conference so you guys you guys have chalked off wins against these really good teams. You know, did you think you'd be here at the beginning of the season? Honestly, I didn't know what to expect at the beginning of the season. We had new coaches. I didn't know any of the players, but I think Erwin had a great team coming in. And it was really confident in us, and I think that gave us confidence to just go into the season and not really expect anything, and I think it's working out well for us. Another question for you. Uh, I mean, Timmy Tethany, I mean, obviously, you talk about the defense, how good it is. But she's been just as good as well. She, that's her, I want to say, her seventh clean sheet of the season. She had three unbelievable saves, five overall. What's it like having her and Matt knowing she's going to be there for you guys? It's honestly, like, amazing. Anytime there's, like, a fast break or anything, we all know we have Bethany back there. And she always keeps us in the game. And she's just a great goalie. I'm happy we have her back there. Last question for you. You guys' mentality seems to be a fearlessness right now. A lot of close games and strong teams. You guys always seem to go out there confident. What's the chemistry and mindset of this team every time you take a coach? Honestly, just like go out there and have fun and play soccer. And that's like Erwin's mentality too. And he prepares us so well. Him and all the assistant coaches going into the game. But I think we just have confidence going into the game. So we just play and it's working out. Cool. All right. Thank you, Elena.